Smash up, he won't come to for hours. He's right, Monty. I'll get some more rope and we'll tie this wire up tight. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now bring all the boys, Wally, and meet me at Gilroy's store and step on it. I'll report the chief. You sure there won't be anybody coming around here? Ah, uh, quit your worry. But lay low. The whole country will be looking for this boy tomorrow. I saw a car following us, and I'm sure they carried Frank off in it. It must be the same gang that's after Frank's ring. All right, we'll go back to the bridge and we'll search every inch of the country. Stop worrying, will you? Chief's got things fixed, ain't he? Well, fellas, the whole affair is certainly a mystery to me. We searched every inch of that country. I don't know where they could have taken Frank. Did you get his home on the phone yet? Yes, finally. Everything is all right there. So that was a phony message he received. It must have been. But I didn't tell his folks that Frank was missing. Well, I don't understand it. The only thing left is to get the sheriff to organize a search. Well, it's going to be just too bad for the team if Frank doesn't... I don't care anything about the team. All I want to do is to get Frank back safely. You're right. That's all any of us want. It certainly is. Well, what do you think I've been talking about? That's just what I just said. I, 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 I... We're about to broadcast what should be a great game between those old rivals, Fardale and Calvin. The teams haven't come onto the field yet, but I'll give you the tentative lineup. Quiet! Quiet! Now listen. Found no trace of Frank. So you'll have to start the game without it. Yes, and they won't find him. He sure sold out cheap. Are you lying, Brad? Wait a minute there. <laughs> now save that fight for the ball game. You'll need it. Now listen, Peters. Another crack like that from you and you'll have to turn your suit in. Whether I need you or not. Get out there and fight your heads off for four days. Come on. That big yell you just heard was for the Fardale team to just come onto the field. I'll check the players for you. Wally Reed, Kelly, Stone, Smith, Brown, Baker, Browning, and Pierre. Yep, as we suspected. Frank Merriwell is not with the team. That seems to verify a report that we heard that something has happened to him. What do you reckon that means? I don't know, Jeff. We'll have to wait. It's the only thing we can do. Yes? Is Mrs. Merriwell in her room? Yes, she's lying in that sleep. But she mustn't know anything about this. Yeah. No, sir. <laughs> Off to number 11, Bruce Browning. He comes 
back up the field, 5, 10, 15 yards. Then he goes down hard under a swarm of Telford tacklers. We're off, folks, on what bids fair to be a great ball game. Peters tried to take it around the left end, but was dumped at the line of scrimmage by Farley. Fardale misses Merriwell's drive. It's third and eight now. It looks as though Fardale has to kick. Hello? Yes, sir. Mr. Merrill, just a moment, sir. Hello? Yes, yes, this is Charles Merrill. My voice is doubtless all too familiar to you. I thought so. You know by now, I imagine, that your son is strangely missing. Yes, yeah, I, I realize that. I know, you won't stop at anything. You know the terms? I'll do anything you say. I'll meet any terms you may make. Yes, I'll come to see you. And you'd best see to it that I'm not molested. Yes, the guards will be removed. You've nothing to fear. All I ask of you is for the return of my son. Very well, Mr. Merrill. Gentlemen will call here. Show him into this room. Yes. In case he gets the ball, he's getting into the clear. He's going, he's going, he's away for a touchdown. What a beautiful run. Fardale was caught flat for that last play. How they missed Merriwell. Not only in their attack, but on their defense. It's too bad Frank isn't out there. Oh, I wish he were. But I'd rather know that he's all right and that nothing's happened to him. How long does Daggett expect us to keep this bird here? That's Daggett's business. Maybe a week or so. Oh, oh my head. I... Ah! Ah! Hey, listen to him. Oh, my head. I can't stand it. I... What are we going to do? Suppose he croaks. Loosen him up. Maybe the circulation stopped. Oh, I got feel. I... I'll get some water. Ball. Car nice to get around left end. Mayo crashes it through and makes the tackle. No gain. What have you done with my father? Huh. Oh, you mean that phone call? Well, that was a stall to get you out. Then he's all right? Surest thing you know. You're not going to make any phone calls for a while. Calvin comes out of the huddle. <laughs> Thomas drops it back. <laughs> Looks like a pass. Yes, yes, there it goes. It's completed to Clark. He gets away. It's a touchdown. That makes it 13 or nothing against us. Merriwell could have intercepted that pass. I know it. Yeah, I guess that'll hold you boys for a while. Hey, look. Look, my name's Merriwell. Not Frank Merriwell. That's right. Well, say, I've got a big bet on Fardale. Why aren't you in the game? That's where I'm trying to get right now. Would you take me there in your car? Will I? Come on. That's a hurry. Alfred's ball, fourth down, one yard to go for a touchdown. <laughs> now the quarterback sneaks over for a touchdown. The ball now stands 19 to 6, and Alfred will try to convert. End of the first half. Oh, the kick wasn't good. Alfred fails to convert. <laughs> I trust you have followed my instructions and dismissed your guard. I want no trickery. My men are watching. The only trickery has been your own. I presume you know why I'm here. Well, folks, here we are going to the second half. The boys are lined up. There goes the whistle. They go down the field. The ball's booted. There it goes up into the air. A nice long kick. Peter takes it on the 25-yard line, runs to the 40-yard line. Bardell is showing a bit more fight in this quarter. Coach Hardy must have told them plenty between the halves. Merriwell has not appeared yet, and there has been no announcement about him. Something very unusual must have happened. And that's that. So now let's get down to business. You know what your stubbornness has cost you, ever since Mendoza led you to the Aztec treasure of the Mountain of Gold. Keeping that secret wasn't stubbornness, Daggett. It was my right. Well, you're going to divulge that secret to me, right here and now. 
Bruce Bonning, number 11, has the ball. Tries to come around the end, makes four yards. Tackled by Burton. The third quarter's almost over. Fardale is holding them, but they'll have to do more than that to win this game. What assurance have I that Frank will be returned to me? Under the circumstances, you'll have to take my word for it. Your word? You, who have lied and tricked me from the very first? I must have... It's what I want that concerns us. Now quit stalling and come across. Thanks, old man. I hope you win your bet. has the ball and makes three yards. Bruce Downing tackled him. <laughs> Alfred lined up. Ball snapped the speaker. He passed the cop. Cobb gets away for five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Alfred's going for another touchdown. Nothing can stop them. Look, there's Frank. Yes, yes, it is. It's Merriwell. He's coming under the field. Frank Merriwell himself, and what an ovation. The Fardale stand has risen as one man and is cheering itself forth. So, you weren't tricking me. No, oh, I had him, but he got away. But what of it? Coach! Oh, no. oh. oh, Frank, are you all right? He must try it. Give me Frank's helmet. Get in there and replace Kelly. Hit him hard and low, Frank. Farewell for Kelly. Kelly out. Substitution okay? Okay. We'll talk, Frank. Come on, we can do it. Five! Very well, gets the ball, cuts up a tackle. Looks like he's away. Makes 30 yards! What happened here? This man entered my house and tried to shoot me. All right, Mr. Merrill, we'll take care of him. I phoned the officers, Mr. Merrill, as soon as that man come in. With Merriwell in the game, Fardale's taking a new lease on life. They stopped the Calford attack goal, and Calford is forced to kick. <laughs> Merriwell takes the ball in the five-yard line. He's coming back up the field, running beautifully. Heard a shot. What did it mean? It means that our troubles are over. The ghost man has gone out of our lives forever. And now let's hear how Frank is doing. The team is clicking now. Very well has them fired up. You take it, Frank. You're going great. All right, boys. Right seven X on three. Hey! Here, right. One, two, three. Marywell takes the ball, Lateralus to Bruce Browning, he goes through for about 11 yards. There's the play, Marywell is fading back, they're chasing him back, he's going way back, he passes to Bruce Browning, he takes it for a short game. Here they go, Marywell takes the ball, finds a nice hole and makes five yards. Bent made the tackle, fourth down, five to go for a touchdown. They're ready, ball is snapped to Marywell. Very well goes over for a touchdown, making the score Calvert 19, Fardale 12. Very well will attempt to convert. He kicks and it's good. Score 19 to 13, three minutes to go. Some boy. We must wire him the good news. It is a kick. Very well brings it back ten yards. A few seconds left. Calvert's a cinch to win. Well, anyway, it's been a great game. Oh, if only Frank had been in there from the start. Bruce Bonning drops back and passes to Marywell. He's away, he's away for a touch! 
stranger and the gang that were after us, and from now on, there'll be no more trouble. Oh, Dan. All right, everyone, three cheers for Frank Marwell, who's one great fella. Start the game without it. Yes, and they won't find it. He sure sold out cheap. Are you lying, Rat? Wait a minute there. <laughs> now say that fight for the ball game. You'll need it. Now listen, Peters. Another crack like that from you, and you'll have to turn your suit in. Whether I need you or not. Get out there and fight your heads off for four days. Come on. Hey, come on! you just heard was for the Fardale team to just come onto the field. I'll check the players for you. Wally Reed, Kelly, Stone, Smith, Brown, Baker, Browning, and Peer. Yep, as we suspect, Frank Merriwell is not with the team. That seems to verify a report that we heard that something has happened to him. What do you reckon that means? I don't know, Jeff. We'll have to wait. It's the only thing we can do. Yes? Is Mrs. Merriwell in her room? Yes, she's lying in that sleep. But she mustn't know anything about this. Yeah. No, sir. Keeping off to number 11, Bruce Browning. He comes back up the field, 5, 10, 15 yards. Then he goes down hard under a swarm of Calford tacklers. We're all focused on what fits fair to be a great ball game. Peters tried to take it around the left end, but was dumped at the line of scrimmage by Farley. Fardale misses Merriwell's drive. It's third and eight now. It looks as though Fardale has to kick. Hello? Yes, sir. Mr. Merrill, just a moment, sir. Hello? Yes, yes, this is Charles Merrill. My voice is doubtless all too familiar to you. I thought so. You know by now, I imagine, that your son is strangely missing. Yes, I, I realize that. I know, you won't stop at anything. You know the terms? I'll do anything you say. I'll meet any terms you may make. Yes. Yes, I'll come to see you. And you'd best see to it that I'm not molested. Yes, the guards will be removed. You've nothing to fear. All I ask of you is for the return of my son. 
Very well, Mr. Melville. Gentlemen will call here. Show me into this room. Yes, sir. Casey gets the ball. He's getting into the clear. He's going, he's going, he's away for a touchdown. What a beautiful run. Fardale was caught flat by that last play. How they missed Merriwell. Not only in their attack, but on their defense. It's too bad Frank isn't out there. Oh, I wish he were. But I'd rather know that he's all right and that nothing's happened to him. How long does Daggett expect us to keep this bird here? That's Daggett's business. Maybe a week or so. My head, I... Ah! Ah! Hey, listen to him. Oh, my head, I can't stand it. I... What are we going to do? Suppose he croaks. Uh, Loosen him up. Maybe the circulation stops. I got to feel like... Uh, 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 hey, honey. Uh, right, set up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm up here. I'll get some water. <laughs> Carnage to get around left end. Mayo crashes through and makes the tackle. No game. What have you done with my father? Huh. Oh, you mean that phone call? Well, that was a. <laughs> Smash up, he won't come to for hours. He's right, Monty. I'll get some more rope and we'll tie this wild cat in. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now bring all the boys, Wally, and meet me at Gilroy's store and step on it. I'll report the chief. You sure there won't be anybody coming around here? Ah, uh, quit your worry. But lay low. The whole country will be looking for this boy tomorrow. I saw a car following us, and I'm sure they carried Frank off in it. It must be the same gang that's after Frank's ring. All right, we'll go back to the bridge, and we'll search every inch of the country. Come on. Stop worrying, will you? Chief's got things fixed, ain't he? Well, fellas, the whole affair is certainly a mystery to me. We searched every inch of that country. I don't know where they could have taken Frank. Did you get his home on the phone yet? Yes, finally. Everything is all right there. So that was a phony message he received. It must have been. But I didn't tell his folks that Frank was missing. Well, I don't understand it. The only thing left is to get the sheriff to organize a search. Well, it's going to be just too bad for the team if Frank doesn't... I don't care anything about the team. All I want to do is to get Frank back safely. You're right. That's all any of us want. It certainly is. Well, what do you think I've been talking about? That's just what I just said. I... 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 We're about to broadcast.
broadcast what should be a great game between those old rivals, Fardale and Calvin. The teams haven't come onto the field yet, but I'll give you the tentative lineup. Quiet! Quiet! Now listen. Found no trace of...